Okay, I'm Mike Carper, Whiskey Alpha 9 Papa India Echo, and I want to do a quick video to talk about backup and restoral strategies for HRD. For better viewing of this video, if you would, please make sure that you're using the highest quality video that's available and click the full screen button. If you do these things, the, the screen will be a lot more viewable on your system and, and you'll be able to see what I'm going to show a lot better. In this video, one of the things I'm going to talk about is Dropbox. Dropbox is a free internet or cloud-based storage service. Um, you can sign up for it. It's like a, you know, some folks that I know refer to it as the thumb drive in the sky. When you install it on your computer and you sign up for it for free, uh, it'll create a folder on your system called Dropbox, and you'll be able to sync uh, anything you place in that folder will synchronize to the Dropbox internet storage and to your machine. So it's available to you at any time, anywhere. You don't have to be connected to the internet. If, if your internet connection is down, um, all the things that you put in that Dropbox folder will be available to you. And any changes that get made while you're disconnected will get synced up once your internet connection comes back. So you'll never lose another log again, and this is what I highly recommend. You can see on my system here, this is uh, underneath favorites, I've got the, the Dropbox folder which gets installed automatically. And then I create a folder within Dropbox called uh, Log Backups. And under Log Backups, this is where all my, um, all my log backups get stored. But if I come over to, um, just pull this over and show you that you sign up for this by going to www.dropbox.com and if you want to uh, if you're if you're already a member great but otherwise you can um, you can sign up by creating an account um, I'm just going to sign in here but this is where you would go and create an account and by signing in what I'm really going to do is because I just changed my um, password here by signing in, I'm going to be able to access the same folders. So if I come over, I can look at these are the same folders that I see if I'm um, on my computer. Only these are directly on the Dropbox storage ser servers in the, on the internet. So these are all the same folders. And what I want to show is if I go down here to log backups on my computer. I can see all those folders and those folders again it's very important to understand these folders are on your computer and uh, they will get synchronized to Dropbox uh, system which is here and I can see all the backups here and all my dogs barking today um, so all these files exist right there so I can get to them from anywhere Okay, so I'm going to go into the <laughs> logbook and uh, just look at how the backup folders are set under options. And what I do is I uh, have it to back it up on close and every six hours. You can change that. You can say every 10 changes to your log or you know, every X number of changes to your logbook. Um, you can set it for different timings. Okay, then from there, I can uh, come up here, and uh, what I did was I went down and found the Dropbox folder, went down into Log Backups. Um, I don't have any folders underneath of Log Backups, so I just selected that and clicked OK. That's where the backup files go, and these are the single file XML files that get created. Um, for archives, if you use more than one of these, it's a little redundant. Um, so I just used uh, one of them and then uh, again I went to the Dropbox folder and put it in Log Backup. So everything that gets created there um, again automatically gets stored on my computer and on Dropbox and if I have a laptop um, or multiple computers with Dropbox installed on it all of those files get synchronized to each one of those computers so the files exist in many places and that's why you never, you never lose them. Um, so it's not necessary to, to do more than one of these in my opinion because uh, they were created so that you could put them in multiple different places 
but Dropbox does that for you automatically so there's no need to, to do that so um, that's the story here now I'm gonna go and um, just gonna create a backup and it's gonna go ahead and, and back that up and you can see that it's 1658 that's the time and here I am in my Dropbox uh, folder and I'm just gonna sort the whole thing by date and here's 1658 which is 1158 local time as well as the uh, this is the compressed file or the archive and this is the the regular file that just got created so now that this is here I'm going to do something really risky and, and strange I'm going to delete all the entries in my log um, I'm going to do that just to show how it's possible to, to do the restoral. A lot of people are using ADIF to you know, do backups and restorals, and I just think that's really risky. So um, if you use the, ADI, uh, the, 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 the regular backup that we have there, then you get a lot of the file attributes that don't exist within the ADIF. So I'm going to delete all records, and there they are. They're gone. My entire log is gone. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do a restoral. Come down into backups, restore. I'm going to go and find that folder which is in Dropbox. I'm going to come down here to log backups. I'm going to hit this so I can see the, the most recent one at the top. And that's it, the one that was at 1158 or 1658 Zulu. I'm going to hit open, I'm going to hit restore, and I'm going to say it says really restore. Yes. So I'm going to really restore that logbook, and it takes just a minute here. Meanwhile, since I didn't have any log entries, you can see over here that the work status indicators are showing up as um, red X's because it had nothing to look it up against, um, which, which is normal behavior if you don't have any log entries. Okay, I sliced some time out of there. But you can see the, all the log entries were restored, and uh, even down to all my um, my award statuses and all those things that got pulled back in there. So um, that's kind of the the buzz on getting restorals done. It's the best way to get it done, in my opinion. Um, you know, folks can you can use the ADIFs if you want to, but I don't particularly recommend it. So that's it for today, backup and restoral in HRD. Thanks, I'm Mike, WE9PI.